Minasan. Konnichiwa. How's everybody doing? Okay. Rest of the spotlight. This time, the oh so beautiful Kana. Mm. First of all, that is just easily one of the most beautiful, most gorgeous one I've ever seen in my life. And, and, uh, yeah, I've never actually even seen her live. I've just seen, like, you know, matches of hers, you know, on YouTube and whatnot. And, you know, some, uh, some, uh, Shimmer DVDs that I still want to buy, um, by order and, and, and check, and check them out. And I don't even know, uh, those of you who know Athena, who's wrestled her, I've always, you know, uh, I'm a huge fan of both Athena and Kana, but, um, yeah. Just, just what I've seen of Kana, it's like, it's like, she's one of those wrestlers who looks like she can just have a match with anybody. And I don't mean just, you know, just with women. I mean, she's wrestled Funaki, she's wrestled Tajiri, she's wrestled Minoru Suzuki. She was in a, you know, mixed tag team match again, you know, with him, and, uh, and she tagged with, uh, Marafuji. That's a pretty good credential list. I mean, and you know, uh, her, you know, alliance with, you know, uh, Triple Tails and Triple S Tails and everything. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what I can say to sum up, you know, how awesome and amazing I find her because it's like, cause like, it's not, it's not just the fact she's an amazing women's wrestler. She's an amazing wrestler, period. Uh, I've seen like, you know, she's been in um, hardcore matches. She's, you know, you know, been in, you know, just weapons matches. There's matches where she flew into a, one of the uh, beds of uh, barbed wire. Um, yeah, it's like, it's like, what can't this woman do? And I'm starting to believe the answer is nothing. I did hear a story recently that she may be retiring, which saddens me, but not disappoints me. It's just saddens me because as a fan, I would love to see her wrestle a lot. I would love to get to meet her. As a matter of fact, hey, friends of mine who met Kana and wrestled her, if you see this and there's some magical way she can come to San Antonio or the Austin area and I get to meet her, that would be awesome because you guys are great and fantastic and phenomenal. I love you all for it. Anyway. Um, yeah, I just, oh man, it's just, it's, and, and this, and this is like picking one particular amazing athlete out of a host of amazing athletes. I mean, the, 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 the Joshis in Japan, which is, uh, which is the name for, uh, the, uh, for a female wrestler in Japan are just phenomenal. I mean, you, you, I mean, Connor is, is one of many. She's just, she's my favorite. And, and, and like I said, that's some stiff competition because of the amazing talent. And, and, and that, that's the thing I think that I think American wrestling is starting to get back into, especially if you've been watching WWE the, the past couple weeks. It's like they're starting to realize that the, that the female wrestlers are just as tough and are just as talented or in some even more so. Than their male counterparts, and that's and and now and and in Texas that's always been the case. You got like Athena and Jessica James when Rachel Summerlin was still wrestling. Yeah, uh, had her, um, and yeah, just there's so many who, who 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 I can't even name right now. And those were up and coming, like the Lila Doom is uh, up and coming here in Texas. But but the the but the thing is with in Japan it wasn't it was never really a lost art, like you know you know and. The U.S. It's 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 gaining more momentum. I mean, I mean, Shimmer's been doing it for years. Uh, Shine's uh, as you know is coming up as well, and there's like WSU here in America. But Japan, it ne it was never a, a, like a lost style. It's always been there. Um, and Kana is just one of the best to me. She's one of the one of the best examples of hey, you want to see what Japanese you know what, like what Japanese women wrestlers can do. I would. I would I would show show a Kana highlight video or a Kana match. I would. Um and she just and she's so different. Like like the whole the, the face paint she's done. It's like reminiscent of like Sting slash Jeff Hardy's well Willow the Wisp era or or well Jeff Hardy's typical era. Moving on. Um <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, she's got, you know, she's got the strike, she's got, the, you know, she's got the throw, she's just got the, her overall style is just impressive. I mean, 
and you know and 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 the, and the thing is what's 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 sad is that i don't think she's gotten enough credit honestly maybe this is just because i'm such a fanboy I, I, and and again if you're watching this of course you of course you know I'm a fanboy um but i just think that for all she's done all the you know you know time, people she's wrestled belt she's won you know and the matches she's been in she should get more credit and i just and i just and i just think that she is awesome she's amazing i'll include some highlight videos of hers in the comments down below but uh, yeah comments down below and um you gotta judge for yourself but with that in mind, that's my Russell Spotlight for Kana, who I think is just, you know, phenomenal, phenomenal. Uh, what do you guys think? Who's your favorite Joshi? In Japan? In America? In some, in some other country? In my, you know, what do you guys think? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'll be seeing you guys real soon. And thank you for sticking with me. Yes, son. Sign out. Peace.